In this video, I want to try and quickly cover some house cleaning tips that you can use when working with smart materials, and it can really help in the right situation. For example, you have this smart materials panel with different subfolders. And when you add third party packs, they may have different thumbnails than what comes with the default smart materials. And there are times where you may want to consolidate folders that are quite similar to one another. One such situation where you might find this relevant is downloading the PBR scans library files. Sometimes you may find that it creates folders that are very similar to what you may already have. So for example, you might have a metals subfolder, but it creates one that says metal. And you may want to merge those together, or you may want to make sure that you're using the same type of thumbnail. So you may want to leave that as it is. And if that's the case, you could just simply update individual thumbnails as needed. So for example, this one is a little bit hard to see. And when it's refreshed or updated, it will be based on the current environment map lighting that you have in the scene. So what I can do is right click on that one and I can choose to refresh the preview. And you can see how that's changed. I'll do the same thing here. Refresh preview. But if I wanted to refresh all of them where these materials are applied to a material ball, I can right click and instead of clicking refresh preview, I can choose for all materials, refresh all previews. All right, that didn't take long, perhaps a little over a minute, but now I have a nice uniform collection of thumbnails. There are also times where, uh, as I mentioned before, you may want to consolidate two subfolders that are similar. So let's, uh, let's take this painting. I think this probably, again, came from the PBR scan library. I'm going to refresh that preview. And I'm also going to move it to the other paints subdirectory. Now, how I do that is I right click and I choose move items to, and then I go down in the list menu here and I choose that paints directory. Okay. Now with this painting, I can right click and I can choose to delete the folder or I could rename it to something else and just use it for a different purpose. But in this case, I'm going to just delete it. Okay. And Let's look at another example where we may want to change the projection type of the thumbnails for either an individual thumbnail or all of them within a subfolder. And in this case, we have flat projection from camera, and that is perfect for these types of skin textures because it's a little bit more difficult to see the preview on a material ball. Also, it's great for decals and other 2D images where a flat projection gives you a better preview. With this one, it's projected from camera. But if I choose cube mapping, then I will get the material ball. So I'll choose that. And you can see what that thumbnail is going to look like. As soon as I click save, you see what happens here. Now, what would we do if we had, let's say, a third party pack of materials that presented us with material ball thumbnails, but we wanted to make them all flat? To change all of them, right click and you would choose again for all materials, you would set the mapping type to the one that you prefer. So in this case, I'll change it to cube mapping for all the materials. Once again, 3D Coat is going to go through and essentially refresh them all, except for this one, it's saying it's missing a texture. As I said before, this projection type really doesn't help for skin textures, at least not in my opinion. So I'm going to set it back to flat thumbnails for all of them. So let's right click and set it back to UV mapping or from camera, just use UV mapping.
and now they are all flat thumbnails. Okay, and that's going to conclude this video about cleaning up your Smart Materials panel and also consolidating some of your subfolders. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.